here's the old 20 litre tank and here's the new 70 with some goldfish, guppies and cornets uh, with some plumbing around the back which goes from the feed pipe up to uh, an external filter here and then into the grow bed and the return line comes down through the cabinetry back and into here so here's the cabinet that were built for it so there you can see the return line from the tank going back out I've used uh, cam lock fittings just to make my life a lot easier uh, down here we've got all the uh, all the electricals the air filter I'll put all the drawers back in in a minute and then up here into the grow bed uh, with the bell siphon and as it's coming in the clay balls are still floating. Um, I'm not sure how long it's going to take for them to become fully saturated and, and stop floating up. Uh, let's have a look around the back. You can sort of see a bit of the setup. So there's the cam block fittings. I ran out of cam block fittings. I used the bell union uh, over here. Sorry, I um. Oh, oh this just this escapes me at the minute. Uh, control valve to just throttle back the feed into the grow bed based on um, the drain rate so it just it does its job I've still got to put an overflow pipe into the back here uh, which will just go back to the feed tank just as a safety feature in case something goes wrong uh, other than that all I'm really waiting for is these guys to stop bloody floating I can put some more in and then I can start putting the plants in. So this is day two um, of the system running uh, continuously and you know, I'm hoping that uh, these balls will stop floating um, in the next 24 hours. In the meantime I'll hydrate some more clay balls uh, so that they're ready to top up this as soon as this is ready. Uh, it's about almost at about the right volume to activate the uh, siphon. So I open the lid up so we can watch. So the return line, it's just this little. Uh, you can just see that, that, that one there. And the fish seem to enjoy it as it comes back. So you can see uh, the balls are, they go all the way up. Actually, they did go all the way up to almost overflowing when I first started, so they are a bit lower. So if it's not too far away from activating. Yeah, and as I say, the fish seem to enjoy the water running back in. Any really waterfall. Mm. Oh yeah. They're getting up there, aren't they? So you imagine if I put another half as much again, I mean, would they, would the weight of them hold the rest of it down, or would it end up with a whole lot of beads overflowing over the, over the top? Here you go, there's the siphon. Just break, and it's pouring in. aerating, flowing over those rocks. And the intention is I should be able to get four good sized lettuce or uh, spinach, or even bok choy, uh, up into that grow bed. Uh, I just can't wait to plant them. <laughs> it's these floating rocks that are, are bothering me. So if anyone's got any ideas, uh, let me know. Cheers.